Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to change these. These are called spring rods and they are stabilizer arms that get attached to the drum often after many many cycles they begin to wear out and we're talking years and I'll be demonstrating this on a Panasonic NAFS 14G 3SZA washing top loader washing machine. Okay so what you want to do first is make sure that this thing is level. If this thing is level and it's still whacking and whacking around then you can start looking at what's happening inside. Alright so in this case there's nothing wrong with the level of the machine, the feet have been checked and uh, this drum keeps knocking considerably. It's got way too much free play and uh, it knocks and knocks and eventually it goes into an error code or sometimes it actually just keeps going through the cycle over and over again. So I'm going to demonstrate how to go about this repair. Alright, so to change these suspension rod arms, there's the uh, old ones, one, two, and there's two more on the other side, here is the replacement. Um, unfortunately, you're going to have to take this top cover off. Alright, so I'm going to lift this up from this side. Uh, I'm not going to lift it up too high. I'm just going to put something here to wedge it over like that. And you'll see the arms. There's one, uh, there's one over there, and there's one and one on the other side, which you can't see. So to release it, uh, you, you just actually move it out of the socket here. So you can do that by hand. Um, my advice is change one at a time so that the whole drum does not fall on the floor. You don't want this to collapse, so I'm going to change one at a time. So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing it. There we go. I lifted the drum up and now I'm going to let it drop in there, come out of its holding socket and I'll show you with one at the back. Alright, so there it comes. Just inspect it. And then I'm just going to insert this one in the same way that I took the other one out. I'm first going to um, slot this in the little hole. There's a little hole that looks like this. It's got to go in there and like that. Right. Another one at the front left. Love. Just make sure that when it is seated, it's seated in its recess, not like that. Must be inside and even makes a click sound. Right now, for the ones at the back, which are actually a bit easier. I'm just grabbing it there. And that's what I'm talking about. You can see how it comes out there. This one I can just slot out the back and slot that in there and now I lift so I'm actually I can just lift the drum and slot it in in the front here right this final rod as you can see it's got something twirled around it it's got a little pipe 
that's twirled around it. So just be mindful that when you insert this one, you still want this pipe to be twirled around it. All right, so I've counted the twirls. It's got two twirls. So I know that when I put the next one back, it must have two twirls. This pipe must go around twice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the same procedure. I'm going to lift the drum here and in the front, I'm going to unhook it from the frame. Okay, there we go. All right, so one, two, there's two twirls. You can see, and now I'm sliding. Whoops, I'm sliding this in. If you've already fastened it at the top and it's already seated, and considering I've got the pipe here and I'm already sitting here on the ground, what I can do is you can. Uh, insert this into its slot although this is a bit of a rough method but if you lift the drum up and give it enough support you can slot this in here like that although that's not the best method right now what you want to do is check each one of these that it is seated correctly and that steel rod is facing it doesn't matter which direction faces faces in front or the back it's not that's not what's important what's important is that it's in the recess and not overlapping anywhere so I've now checked the four and they're all seated correctly Okay, before I close up the machine, I'm just going to do a quick test to see that uh, these uh, new suspension rods are effective. Alright, so it has the same load. I haven't changed the load at all. Um, I've checked these are all in place and now uh, it's still got that same load and let's see how it handles it now. Right, so you've seen that the suspension rods and the springs were worn out. Before I changed it, it didn't even get past the first 30 seconds. And now you saw it did the, completed the entire spin cycle, even though I have deliberately put an unbalanced load in there. It's a very heavy, it's a very big tile only on one side of the drum. So if you're wondering why it still moves quite a lot, it is an unbalanced load, which I specifically did. Alright, so make sure this is seated correctly. Check all round before you in install any of the screws. Make sure that the um, frame is not sitting over, the chassis is not sitting over this plastic uh, cover. Okay, so you want to reconnect your water hoses in this on this machine the cold is on the right and the hot is on the left which is follows the international orientation of taps and then this you just do hand tight so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab it like that and like that and switch it on and quickly check that there's no drips Okay, that's perfect.